Okay, in this lesson we are gonna be talking about conditional formatting. But before start, let's change our table. First I'm gonna remove those optional metrics and I'm gonna put my fields in uh, just matrix box. Also, if I go to style, I will be able to remove that formatting. I'm gonna just leave numbers. Let me just click on this bar option and it will be numbers again. Ok, now that we have that, now we can apply conditional formatting. How can we do that? If I click on my table, if I go to style, actually first section of this style box is conditional formatting. As you can see we don't have any rules for now, but there is an option to add a rule. So let's click on that. And now we have additional box that says create the rules. So let's see what options we have. We can use one color or we can use color scale. This time I will be using this color but also we will try that other option. Also if you click in this section format rules we will be able to choose column on which we would like to apply this conditional formatting. So let's say we would like to establish a rule for example if sales is greater than 5 million it should be in green color. So let's choose sales. Now we need to select a condition. We said that we would like for sales to be above let's say 5 million. So let's click on greater than and input value will be 5 million. Now that we have our rule formatted, now we need to change style. For example, if this first value is greater than 5 million, I would like this row to be, let's provide color, let's provide for entire row for example, let's put this text value to be in white color and background will be for example green color. This is the style that we will be creating, so if I click on save, I will be able to see that my first rows are now in green color. So basically they meet the provided criteria. Now let's create another rule. If you again go to style, you will be able to see that you have one rule here. If you click on this button here, you will be able to edit your rule. But for now we will keep it as it is and let's click on add again. That will allow us to add another rule. I will choose again sales column. Condition will be, this time I will put less than, so the condition will be if values in this sales column are less than 1 million. So let's provide 1 million. So if it is less than 1 million, I would like my color to be white for the text and for background let's put red color for example. Let's click on save. And now we are able to see that values in sales column that are lower than 1 million are now in red color. Now let me change those rules. Let's say we would like to apply those rules only on one column, on this sales column. So how can I do that? I can click on this edit button here. And in this color and style section, instead of entire row, I'm gonna choose sales. As you can see you also can choose some other column from, from that table but I will choose sales this time. If I click on save, only sales now is in green color. I can do the same for this second rule. If I click on this, let's choose sales column, save and let me close this. Now we are able to see that red color is applied only on that sales column. So that's perfect. Now let's go back to this style option and let's click on edit rules. This time I would like to remove those two rules, so let's click on delete, delete and that's it. You can add another rule here, but let me just close this and I will just click to add the rule. If you click on that we will be able to see again the same section and instead of single color, this time I will be using color scale. So let's choose column, it will be sales column and now we need to establish the rules. So what we would like to see, here you are able to see point 0.1, point 0.2 and point 0.3. 
As you can see, by default, a percent is chosen. But if I click on this, I will be able also to choose number. And let's use for each of them number. Now we need to provide value. If number is around, let's say, 1 million, then it should be in red color. If it's around, let's put for example 3 million, it should be in this yellow color. If it is 25 million, for example, it should be in green color. So let's see what we need to change here. I need another zero here, and for this one, let me just remove one zero. Now it should be fine. Let's click on save, and now we are able to see our conditional formatting applied. All values that are around 1 million are in red color, around 3 million yellow color, and also around 25 million it's in green color.